Hi. So, I thought I was done for the night, but I had dinner. So I have something from my meal to share with you. I didn't really go into how resentment correlates to powerlessness, and since that is actually our lesson, <clears throat> when that information came to me, it was only relevant to bring it to you. Because it is a lesson on powerlessness. So, we know that my definition, and I'll be using notes for this because it was pretty in-depth. So, we know that my definition that I have chosen to use for resentment is hidden ill will toward another derived from the perception of unfair treatment, wrong, insult, or injury. Perceived. So I had to go and think about that and I went to the unanswered question of how does resentment perpetuate powerlessness and that one was really really hard really hard I struggled I must admit that was one of the ones I've struggled with hardest from the beginning of this class is this answer I'm about to give to you right now it was a really hard one so I was pleased with myself at the end of it <clears throat> not in a arrogant or prideful way, just in a way of successfully learning something important and knowing I will never lose that knowledge because I ate it and it's part of me. So in my life, resentment had built an invisible, impenetrable wall that I had been unable to advance beyond without any cognizant insight into its existence, its impact, what caused it, the consequences of having it, the burden that it was to me, or any idea of how to resolve it. This lack of knowing myself prevented natural next steps of healing and recovery from occurring due to this invisible barrier that resentment built in my mind between itself and forgiveness, quietly refusing to forgive from a quiet, dark corner in my heart. A lack of knowing can be derived from many things, one of which is ignorance, but all of which generate and perpetuate powerlessness. In the case of resentment, my powerlessness was hidden within unforgiveness, that I was unable to recognize due to the denial of the unresolved resentments. Because I wasn't even admitting that I had any until today. Oh, everything's great. Oh, I've forgiven them. Everything's great. Everything's great. Everything's great. But when I come across a resentment for somebody that I say I've already forgiven, I have to think about that again because those don't match. So this was a very powerful exercise for me. I hope you're able to benefit from the power of this exercise for your own lives. In recognizing and resolving these hidden expectations, we can unencumber ourselves of unforgiveness and a lack of knowing, and not only go forward in love and forgiveness, but explore and enjoy new depths and experiences within the relationships previously restrained by resentment. Yes, I did say that resentment can be correlated to expectation. Resentment is based upon expectation. It absolutely is. I learned this today. I say this because in my musings, I came to rest on the realization that my resentments are my own fault and my own responsibility. They are my own fault because they are derived of expectation. I am holding resentments toward others because I had expectations 
as to how I expected them to treat me and how I expected them to interact with me. And that expectation was not met. So I have no control over that. And I'm resentful. Not only of that failed expectation, but also of my powerlessness at my inability to control the outcome and my perception of the treatment and the situation in its unexpected state of reality. It's my own responsibility because only I can correct that which I have created. My expectation created the resentment. Only my acceptance of the reality can eliminate it. I thought I had a true grasp on this at the end of the last video, but I got hungry and ate a couple layers of the onion for supper, so I thought I'd share my meal with you. Embrace your mystery, find your keys, be love. I love you.